So the reason I have two planners is one is for work and one is for more personal and kind of like creative memory keeping. So the Erin Condren Life Planner has been a planner that I've used the past three years. And this is the first year where I'm really utilizing it in a way that I can keep up with and that makes sense. So in the front, I just have some of their page flags and some post-its. And then there's this nice kind of transparent dashboard. Now I have a goal setting spread or printouts for you guys. So I didn't actually utilize this goal area, but I might end up filling in some things. Then I just have some spreads that I've done throughout the months. So having a lot of stickers does not work for me um, for work, but for memory keeping, it's kind of nice to have some color and I like it as a creative outlet. But I use the monthly spreads to just track different events, birthdays, when Kyle is away for the Navy, our anniversary, I keep track of my finances. And on the right hand side, I'm probably going to put the current books that I'm reading, TV shows I'm watching and any kind of personal goals. Again, just a bunch of spreads. Now this is how this week looks and I really like how it turned out because it's just a nice visual way for me to see what it is that I have to do and personal things. So like appointments and um, chapters that I want to read in a book and classes that I need to take and different things like that. It's just a little bit more fun than just simply writing a to-do list. While some people need one planner, I cannot have my work to-do list and my personal to-do list in one planner. It would be too much. It would be like scribble scrabble everywhere. So this is just a way for me to kind of time block when I need to clean, when I'm working, when I'm at the gym, what appointments I have and kind of keep a memory log of like, you know, what workout program I'm doing. Or um, for example, like I keep track of my schedule and here, Kyle's schedule. Uh, and different things like that but it's also nice because I can like remove these stickers like the yoga sticker in case I don't go rather than me like having to cross things out and you know do all that I do keep track of some financial stuff in here just to keep a note um, it just kind of goes with the theme too so that's pretty much why I use that sticker now on the Sunday page, this is something that I'm going to be talking about in a review, um, like a routine video for you guys, because Sundays are my planning days. I don't have any kind of use for these back pages. If you guys have any ideas, let me know. But I'm also going to be talking about my $20 a week financial plan in the budget planner video. So stay tuned for that. Now this is my Sugar Paper LA for Target planner. I love this, it's really working out for me. But in the front, I have my 2016 reflection printout, which I have down below for you guys. I have this already on scrap paper. I just need to go in and officially fill it out. But the next page is put in with an Erin Condren coil clip. This is the 2017 goal pages. These helped me so much last year. So I'm definitely util utilizing the same system because it really did work for me. So you do your top goals for the year in a very in-depth description and um, planning. And then each month you will also have a planner page that is an insert and you can reflect back on the previous month to make sure that you're reaching your goals. Now for my weekly spread, there is a note section on the right side, which I have customized with my own personal stickers. Um, I'm not really sure if I'm gonna sell these or not. Let me know down below, just cause they are very personal to my type of work, but it just helps me kind of categorize my to-do list. And on the left side is where my schedule is. Now on the left side of the page, I just divided up the page with these little to-do list flags. The left side is where I put appointments, anything that really needs to stick out in my schedule, like a due date or when I'm getting paid. And then the right side is just my to-do list. So I'm going to show you guys, this is what it looks like with the, out the stickers. So it's still kind of a work in progress, but it's working so far. So part of my Sunday routine, which I will show you in another video, is to usually print out some sort of spread stickers for the week, and I just keep them in a file folder on my desk. So this is gonna look kind of messy, I apologize, but it's because I use these stickers throughout the week and throughout the month. So like this color scheme that I have going on is kind of what I've been using. And then these are all custom made stickers that I have that are available for purchase. They have social media stickers, these really cool marble file folders and these brain dump stickers. I'm obsessed with them. Um, if you guys are interested, all of that will be down below. 
Now I have three sticker books. This one is only for my work and personal planner. They have all very cohesive gold foil stickers that work very well together. And it just helps me to have one systematic look throughout my planner, um, which I'm absolutely obsessed with. So these are Mambi stickers and then Sugar Paper LA stickers. And I purchased the Mambi stickers, I think at Joanne Fabrics. And then these um, colored stickers in the back are from AC Moore and I will insert the name on the screen because I cannot remember, but it's a new brand and they actually have a whole line of planners out right now. Let's talk writing utensils. So I'm really picky about my pens and these are my go-tos. The first one is the Bic Intensity Fine Pen. It is a felt tip pen, very smooth writing, concentrated ink, does not bleed. Love it. You can get these in large packs, so it's a little bit more cost effective. Now this pen I've had for a long time. I can't believe it hasn't um, dried up at all and it's double sided. I ordered this off of Jet Pens. It writes on washi tape and on Erin Condren stickers, so I absolutely love this. And then this is my go-to everyday writer. This is the Pilot Precise V5 in extra fine. As you can see, I really like a fine tip. I just prefer it. Um, so those are my top three writing utensils. Now this next item I want to share with you is great, especially if you are starting off in the planner world and you want to know kind of how to match your planner in a cohesive way. The Planner Attic Box is perfect. This was started by Vienna Ortiz, who's a fellow YouTuber, and she has curated an awesome collection. This is the January box. It's the sticker subscription box and the Planner Attic um, subscription, and there's just really awesome all very coordinating pieces that you guys can get. So I will have links for that down below, plus a coupon code so you guys can get a little deal. Make sure you guys are following along on social media and are subscribed because there's gonna be giveaways for all of the planner videos in this series. I'm super excited for the next one, which is going to be my mindful morning routine. You'll see all of my journals and what I use every single day to get myself ready for the day. So until next time, see you guys. Thank you.